Well, hello again, everybody, and welcome to another installment in the Red Shadow's favorite TV shows. I am, of course, the Red Shadow, and uh, today we're going to talk about, I'm going to talk about, my third favorite television show of all time. And for the first time, it's more of what you would consider to be a modern TV show. It's a show that ended only four years ago, and it started in 2004. And it's very mysterious and uh, almost, well not almost, confusing, very confusing for some, including to an extent to me. And in some ways, for some, also a very uh, unfulfilling ending. Uh, but that was not my, my thoughts. Uh, anyway, that show, of course, as you've already seen in the title, is Lost. And this is my... Season 1 of Lost on Blu-ray. And I have Season 2. Season 3. Season 4. And Season 6. Why don't I have Season 5, you might ask? Well, the, uh, the reason is... Strange, to say the least. It's a mystery, I guess. Um, for some reason, when it comes to things like eBay and Amazon, the price for all of those seasons, every single one of those, when I was buying them earlier this year, ranged roughly from 15 to no more than like 24 maybe $25 tops. Except for season 5, which always seemed to push like $35, $40, even $50. I don't understand why... Maybe that's changed since then, but uh, it was ridiculous to say the least. How frustrating it felt for me to be piecing together all the seasons of Loss and then I can't get one season because it's like twice the price. And anyway, enough about that. Um, I want to jump right in by saying I may be one of the few people out there who enjoyed the ending of Lost, who was not pissed off, who was not upset, uh, who did not have any major complaints. I'm not going to say I didn't have complaints about the ending or the show in general, but uh, I did not hate on it. It did not sour me to the whole entire experience. Um, I mean, everybody's entitled to their own opinion, but even I'm a little bit, as a part of the fandom of Lost, a little disappointed in everybody for being so hateful and spiteful against the ending of it. Uh, to me, the complaint that I mentioned before was that the show always seemed to leave more questions than it answered. But yet, at the end of the show, it had an ending. It showed you what was going on and why they were at the island and even if you didn't understand it, I'm not saying that I completely understood it, but even I was satisfied that they at least gave an ending. It wasn't a Sopranos ending where it just fades to black. It wasn't a Seinfeld ending where it just kind of fell super flat. It gave you an ending, and I don't know what else a person could ask for. Uh, were there questions left unanswered? Sure. Were all the loose ends tied up? No. But it worked for me, and I was not going to sit around and be pissy about it. And I certainly wasn't going to say to myself, wow, I just spent the last six years watching this show to be shit on at the end. Other people feel that way, but I don't. I uh, absolutely love Lost. I fell in love with Lost with the previews that came out for it before it even started in 2004. That summer in 2004 was like... I hadn't felt that way about a show in a long time, like eagerly awaiting new episodes. You know, I was in and out with Star Trek Next Generation when it aired because I was younger. I didn't always, you know, think about television. Uh, the same happened with The X-Files. I was halfway, more than halfway through the series before I jumped into it. And even the last few seasons, I didn't actively try to sit down and watch it when it came on TV. But by the time 2004 rolled along, I was married, I was working, 
it was just sort of like a, the new routine was to come home every night and if there was TV shows that I enjoyed I would watch those shows and I would watch them religiously I would be like I'm gonna watch it every night when it comes along and Lost was one of the big ones I just ate it up from the first episode to the very ending of that first episode where you were like okay these folks have crash landed on uh, an island somewhere in the Pacific and the survivors are trying to figure out what's going on you know they're just trying to you know make sure that they're okay fine you know happy that they're alive they're trying to gather their bearings uh, search for food and equipment and maybe a way to try to establish contact with the outside world to try to get rescued and you're like this is interesting it's an interesting premise they could have left all of the unusual supernatural things out of it and it would have been a very interesting premise people just trying to survive but the fact that it added those additional uh, aspects really uh, I guess set it apart from what would have been a normal type show and for better or for worse spawned a whole slew of unusual mysterious supernatural type shows that would that, I mean I pretty much still goes on to this day ten years later um, so yeah I, I just I was taken aback by the show and the concept and the writing and the characters um, if you know if the characters hadn't been interesting to me then it wouldn't have been an interesting enough show for me to watch it and to stick with it but they were I like Jack and Kate and Sawyer and Son uh, gosh I can actually kind of forget some of the names of, of a few of the characters since it's been so so long but I mean it's about time to go on another run through the seasons I can tell you that I did that a couple years ago when I bought all the seasons on DVD um, but earlier this year I chose to sell the DVDs and switch over to the Blu-ray because it, it it was filmed in Hawaii it's supposed to take place on a tropical island in the Pacific uh, and there's all kinds of interesting things to see I was like I gotta see this on Blu-ray I've gotta see it in high def but anyway that's kind of besides the point Lost is to me it's a show that you just have to give it a shot and understand that every season is a little different. That's another thing that I loved about it. It was like every season seemed to have a focus. Um, and when the writer strike disrupted things, and I think it was 2007, uh, all the writers and producers and and whatnot on the show kind of had to had they had to kind of assess what to do with the show at that point. And even though they lost a few episodes that year, I mean, like not that were filmed and never aired but they they lost the the time slots they would have had for a few more episodes it changed the whole course of the show we got shortened seasons for the next three seasons but they announced that it would end at the end of season six how often do you see a very popular uh, successful show actually say we're gonna end at this point instead of saying oh we're gonna go as long as we can I like the fact that they did that I think they streamlined the writing and the story for that whether or not they maybe had to take some shortcuts whether or not things had to be chopped up a little bit to get there I don't know I can't say I don't know that anybody really can say but I uh, I applaud them for what they did I think it was great that they set a goal and said that at the end of season six we'll be done um, it made the anticipation immense for me and like I said I wasn't let down by the ending at all but I could say that a million times the person just needs to watch it make their own decision about it um, recently I've read some talk from some of the people involved with the show that they believe that there could be another installment another chapter in the lost story how or what it would be they don't really know if it would take take shape on TV if it would be a feature film or if it could just be something like a comic book series or a book series uh, but that 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 thought is is exciting I'd love to see something I'd love to see a movie I don't know what they would do 
Uh, I would want to revisit my old favorite characters again, but due to the ending of it, it's hard to say how that would work out. Um, I would hate to see it be something that's set back on the island, but then again, how could it not? They could always take the characters who basically inherited the responsibilities involving the island and make something out of that, but uh, I don't want to spoil things on that, so best not to say anything more about it. Uh, I guess I can't really think of anything else to say about Lost in general. I just, I love the show. Uh, I think it was amazing. I think it was ahead of its time. Uh, I think for better or for worse, like I said before, it's inspired a lot of shows since then. Some good, some bad. But uh, it's in. There's no doubt that it's a going to be a, a, a cult classic, pop culture iconic type show. Uh, Remember for years to come, along the lines of things like the X Files and Star Trek and uh, so many other shows that were out there that carved their little supernatural slash sci-fi niche. So anyway, I'm excited for when I get to watch Lost again. I've been debating starting up a Red Shadow Watches Lost and maybe some of my other favorite shows series like I'm doing with the X-Files but until I can hit the groove with the X-Files again and start putting out like episodes for that on a regular basis and watching them on a regular basis I, I hesitate to go too far into that but anyway hopefully you enjoyed uh, if you liked Lost leave a comment if you didn't like Lost leave a comment uh, any thoughts or anything that ha anybody has about Lost, negative or positive, it's fine. If you think I suck for liking Lost, that's fine. I can deal with it. Uh, so anyway, those are my thoughts on Lost. And uh, I got two more of these favorite TV shows uh, episodes to do. And then I'm just going to kind of throw together a bunch of my other favorite shows in one last little episode. Uh, so stay tuned for those. It should be coming very, very soon. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.